Happy Tuesday. Today, we're going to plant our little tomato. Remember, this was a sucker shoot. It was, no, probably this big when I planted it, just a couple of inches. And I've had it inside for maybe a month now. And it's starting to get flowers. So we're going to go clean out the tomato half of the flower bed, get this guy planted, and we have to stop there because I have a homeschool evaluation to do in about 45 minutes. So let's get to it. Guys, I filmed another clip in the garden. I filmed my closing and it is stuck on the SD card. Like it won't show up on the computer. I can watch it on the camera, but when I put the SD card in, those clips are nowhere to be found. So, I'm going to post what I have and hopefully I can figure out how to get the rest off of the SD card and I can put those in another video, but I have no idea. It's really frustrating. <laughs> so I'll pop in at the end and give a quick update of what you would have seen. So enjoy. Here's our tomato bed. <laughs> oh goodness. This poor tomato plant. I have leaned it up so many times. It's just too big. See the birds. They keep getting my tomatoes. not seen any snakes again since the day that the two of them were in the yard so that's nice <laughs> minded these weeds being in the flower bed because they have the little flowers on them so I know they're helping to attract pollinators but the weeds are overtaking and the grass
I also just love these purple flowers. They're so pretty. here has two flowers on it. That's exciting. The other pepper plant is starting to really take off. It was slow going at first, but it's looking really good now. Anytime I'm weeding the garden, I always find myself thinking about things in my life that don't belong, things that crowd out, things that really make me feel satisfied. I listen to a book couple months ago and it was talking about things that give life to you and things that essentially bring death. Activities, things that you 
fill your mind with that are life-giving. Things that are life-taking. As people, we're always growing and changing. Our activities are always growing and changing. And it's important to go back and reflect on what is really bringing life to your soul and what essentially is taking it away. And I think a lot of times it's not that the things we participate in are necessarily bad but do they really bring you joy at the end of the day do you sit back and say man my soul feels encouraged my soul feels refreshed or do you sit down at night and think man I'm exhausted I hate that we are doing all these activities. I hate that I signed up to do this. Can't wait until it's over. I mean, those are things that are not life-giving. You need to make a note of that so that next time you're in a situation to maybe participate in that sport or that activity, <clears throat> You can think back and say, oh, that didn't bring me life last time. I need to be careful not to get myself in that same situation. You may find, like I did, that sometimes it's how you communicate with people. There are certain forms of communication that are just extremely exhausting to me. You know, life is short. We don't get a lot of chances to do things differently. And we have to be very cautious so that we can live this life to its fullest and in a way that brings joy to us and those around us and to the Lord. I think people know if you don't want to be around them and you're not treating those people the best that you could. People know if you don't want to be someplace, if you don't want to participate in an activity or a commitment. And it really is just bringing everyone else misery by you continuing to fulfill the obligation. Sometimes we need to redirect our focus and shift and Take a different path, even if it is in the middle of the one that you're already on. Thank you.
so I went back out and I planted some vegetables. I did some of the vegetables that were technically supposed to be planted in April. I figure we're only a few days into May, so it should be okay. I planted okra, more turnips. I did some blue lake bush beans, celery, and I feel like I'm forgetting something else. Anyways, I got some things planted. I got a million mosquito bites. But again, hopefully I can get those clips off for another day. But we'll see. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.